I don't know what happened. I really had to, I had to go and jinx myself, didn't I? I had to go and jinx myself, didn't I? I can't write. I can't write. I don't know what is happening. Like, like, what is this sentence? What is this sentence? What is it? Every day she had to call off of work. She waited to be fired, but it never came. What is that? I don't even know what I'm writing, okay? Uh, it's... <laughs> like, if this was, like, a movie, what I'm supposed to be writing right now is, like, a training montage. How do you write a training montage in a book? I don't know, okay? <sighs> I hate this. I hate this. But... I am currently watching Jen's stream, um, and she's out with Sarah, and I just want to say, like, Sarah looks amazing. She always looks amazing, though, but, like, she looks great, um, and so does Jen. I don't, like, Jen looks good, too, but, <laughs> like, her hair just looks so soft. Okay, this is getting creepy. Um, I backed myself into a hole, and I don't know how to get out. They both look amazing, okay? We're just going to go with that. Moving on. Let me recommend a song. Woo! Okay, so, an album actually. So, I'm going to be recommending A Rock by Hardy. This is his new album. It came out, um, uh, like a month or so ago, though. But it is so, so good. So, basically, this entire album is taking country tropes and, like, flipping them. So, the first song on here is called Truck. And everyone's like, oh, truck, country, you know. You got a country song, it's got to have truck in it. But this one talks about a truck and everything it means to a man and like in the song. And it's a beautiful, beautiful song, okay? And then you got Boots, which is guy, he came home drunk and then he, he sobered up in the morning, but he didn't take his boots off because he knew he was going to be kicked out, so he just walks out. And then like Boyfriend is I don't want to be your boyfriend anymore. I, and then he's like, I want to propose. Like the music and like... Hardy and Hardy is like one of is like one of the best country singers right out on on Main Street right now. Like he's like one of the few still country singers on Main Street right now. And so this is just I love this album so so much. So favorite songs here we go. All right, I like Truck. I do like Truck, um, but I've listened to it to a lot, so it's not my favorite right now. I'm really loving Where You At. It's just it's such a stupid song but it's so fun um and then I also like a rock because it talks about like goes through life stages with a rock and I just I love it I love it so yes I am like loving this album right now it's horrible to write to in my opinion because I know all the songs now I've listened to it so many times I know all the songs so I'm just kind of like don't sing it. Don't sing it. Write, Madison. Write the words. Uh, but I, 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 I'm not doing that. So, yeah. Okay. I'm going to write and wa uh, hang out with uh, Jen and Sarah. And um, I'll probably switch my album. I should probably switch the album I'm listening to. But it's just so good, guys. Such a good and great album. Please listen to it. It's amazing. Ah, uh, Yes. Writing a story in two tenses. Going from one sentence, having a past tense, and then the rest of that paragraph, having a present tense. Okay, Google, fix this word, because I know you know this isn't right, so why can't you fix it for me? Unnecessary. It's not a word. It's not. But I don't know how to spell unnecessary. It's like the fourth time I've tried to spell it, and it doesn't, like, auto-fix it. It has two ends in it, doesn't it? Unnecessary. It, doesn't, it just won't fix itself. Is it that bad, Google? Is it that bad? <sighs> I'm crying over the death of this young little child, but I didn't cry over the death of my main character's sister. She doesn't even know this girl, but I'm crying over the death of her.
insane. Hi! Happy day number seven of NaNoWriMo! And today, if you can't tell, was a good day. You know, yesterday, it was a little bit of a struggle. But today, still kind of a struggle. I didn't get, I wanted to sit down during today and just write the entire chapter in one sitting. But I didn't do that. It is now 8 o'clock at night and I just finished the chapter. But I finished chapter 8 of my story. And this was a chapter that I was just so freaking excited to write because finally Naomi which is just a filler name for my character because that's what her old name used to be uh, but then I changed it so Naomi finally gets to meet the other like the B story character um and they got to interact and I was like I love my dude I love him so much so I finally got to write that chapter, and if we go to NaNoWriMo, then you will see that I, boom, 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 hit 12K today. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yesterday, I got the 10K badge, and look now, I have the seven days in a row badge, which is freaking great, all right? <laughs> It's freaking amazing. Um, but yes, today I ended up writing. Let me go to my um, stats so I can show you guys. I ended up writing 1,974 words for the day. And so this is kind of what my uh, bar looks like. You know, it's got some bumps in the road. But uh, it is not falling under the thing so that is really really good and I edited two videos today because uh, yesterday I ended up filming uh, three videos for December so I edited two of them and I started editing the third one that's going up the last day of November um, so I just have a paper full of timestamps and stuff like that so up for my description box so yes I had a very productive Saturday but now I need to go and read so because this is like I also am going to be talking about what I'm reading because it's also kind of like a believe -a vlog but they're mostly writing vlogs because I'm not doing very good with believe -a basically I finished Hollow Pox yesterday and I gave it a 2 out of 5 star rating. I did not like it. I was very, very disappointed in it. Um, I had very high hopes because it's never more, but this book just felt like a bridge book. And like the only thing really was important was the introduction to Sub 9 and what happens at the end of it. So it was really just not a good time reading that book. But now my granny and I are starting the third book in the Percy Jackson series, The Titan's Curse. I am very excited to start this because I loved the first Percy Jackson and I liked the second one, but I said I would force myself to read it. So hopefully I'm liking it even, I'm hoping that even if this book isn't too like enjoyable I can still like I don't have to I still don't have to force myself to sit down and read it because ultimately I don't want to have to force myself to read the book so I'm very excited to start that book but I think I'm going to start editing this vlog um because I have all the clips from uh yesterday that I need to edit and then this clip to edit so yeah, but, um, yeah, seven days straight, guys. Whew. We are really getting there. Like, well, not so there, but we're kind of getting there. I'm so scared that it's going to hit me because ba I'm scared it's going to hit me. Like, I thought it hit me yesterday, but no, no, no. I, it's not hit me yet. It's going to hit me, though. I know it's going to come somewhere. And basically, I got a new lamp. I switched my lamps out, so that's why I have yellow lighting instead of that white light. And I kind of like this. I don't know. Like, look in the viewfinder. I think this light suits me. Uh, basically, I am now on chapter 9 of my outline. And... That's where I got to for Preptober because I didn't, I have the entire, I have the entire plot for this book outlined, but I don't have all of the chapter by chapters outlined because I didn't know how I wanted to get to the next plot point because I'm already on chapter nine and we're already past, uh, like point 12 in the Save the Cat writes a novel structure. 
If you guys use that, then you might know what I'm talking about. There's like 15 plot points, and I'm already past 12. So, um, I'm kind of worried, and I don't really know what to do next. But I am, yeah, I just did the uh, fun and games point. Oh, I'm only on 7. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where did I get 12? I'm only on 7. But still, that is, um, I'm going to be on... I'm, I'm over halfway, technically, and I need to figure out where to outline that and how to outline that. If you guys heard that was my phone, I just went off. But, yes, so what I need to do. So I'm going to try and write Chapter 9 on Sunday, and then Monday, since I go to my dad's, I'm going to just try and outline instead of write a chapter. Um, I will still try and write it so I can get to 9 days straight. And So, yeah, but, yes, that's what we're doing. This is a long clip. I'm sorry, uh, but I'm going to go and read, and I'm going to edit, and then I'm going to read. But, like, look at this line. I think I look good. Today's word count. Uh, yes, I do see that it is short of the words I needed for the day. But, listen, all right, this is chapter nine. This is as far as I have outlined, okay? Um... I wanted to make sure I had words today, and I am going to finish chapter 9 tomorrow, but I want to make sure that I still can, I want to, I want to, I want to write all of November's days, so if I don't hit today's word count, that's fine, as long as I have 9 days straight tomorrow, you know, so yeah, um, but I'm going to finish up chapter 9 tomorrow, and I'm going to outline chapter 10, I'm going to try to outline, outline a few chapters tomorrow, I don't know how it's going to go. Um, I have a zit right here on my nose, and it hurts when I put my glasses up, so out. Uh, but yeah, that is how we're doing. I am, uh, look though, look, I'm almost at 14,000 total words, and that's so exciting. It's the furthest I've ever run in a story before. So yes, I am very, very excited for um, that and this is kind of what my graph looks like so yes it's still above the line but it's it's a, it's a little iffy and it's it's not the best but whatever whatever boy I'm glad it's dark cuz I don't look good but hi it is the 8th oh night well it's the 9th of November and I wrote today now see I put on here that I wrote this many words when in fact I only wrote 995 but you see how this says I'm at 15094 uh, this did not say it was at that and I need to be at 15 uh, 15003 15,003, right, that's where I need to be for the day, so I cheated, because I don't know what happened, but I'm there in the dock, but I'm not there on the website, so I, 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 I fixed it, I fixed it, I lied, but I fixed it, okay, so, now I don't have any more words just throw in there for, uh, relaxation words, you know, like, words I didn't write all day, I can't, like, cheat anymore. Um, like I did for the first day, right? Can't do that anymore. Anyway, anyway, or was it, it was day two, wasn't it? It was day two, whatever it was. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what day it was, but you get what I'm saying. So, yeah. Uh, tomorrow I need to write the entirety of chapter 10. Hopefully that will get me to the day word count that I need. Um, which, speaking of, I now know what I want, where to go with chapter 10. Because I did not have it outlined, and I had a blank page, but now I know what to write and where I'm going. So, I'm going to be outlining that after I go and work out, which is why I look like a mess. I'm going to go work out. Um, but yeah, that's today's update. I'm going to uh, outline chapter 10, and hopefully 11, and I'd like to outline 12, but I don't think I'm going to. Cause <laughs> uh, yeah, I finished chapter 9, and it is... Two thousand one hundred and eighty-three words, which I would have written that all yesterday, but then I wouldn't have written anything today. So I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. All right. So I'm at the point of where I'm. <laughs> I'm at the point where I haven't read a book on my own. Like I've still been reading Granny Nice Pages every single day, right? But I haven't read a book 
on my own uh, in like 10, 11 days and I really, really want to. And so now I just want to read a book and I know I can't, but I want to. <laughs> Words? They're not, <laughs> they're not coming today. I'm losing the stream very quickly. But, I got candles, so uh, let's unbox them. And basically, these are candles from the magic, the, like, the magic candle company. It's like Disney themed smells and all of that. And yeah, so I'm gonna unbox these and tell you what I think. So. Dang, these things are t in here. Very tight. So the first one I pulled out is Christmas Shop. Okay. First candle, like I said, is the Christmas Shop. And yeah, it's called the Magic Candle Company right here. So this is the first one. And they have like wooden... Ooh, this one's pink. <sighs> it smells like the, can the, <laughs> the Christmas Shop. It smells good. It's not like a super strong scent, but it still doesn't smell bad. And if you've uh, been to the little old Christmas shop, I think that's in Magic Kingdom, I think, then you know what it smells like. I have this, and it's like a little card, and basically like you, they have like monthly boxes, which is fun. Uh, this is not a monthly box, it's just an order. <laughs> All right, we got Pirate Life is the next one. This one. <laughs> This one smells like fruit or something. I don't know how to describe this. It just, it doesn't, I don't know, pirate life. Dude, how do you get pirate life from this? <laughs> Y'all, you guys can't smell it. It doesn't smell bad, but it's just, <laughs> it does I don't know. This is like, is like giving like a fruity smell. It doesn't smell like fruit, but it gives you like that type of feeling when you smell like a fruit candle. That's what this smells like. And I don't know how you get pirate life from that. <laughs> but this is pirate life. If you guys wanted to see the things. Wilderness? Wilderness Lodge? Wait. Oh, I love Wilderness Lodge. Okay. Okay. Wilderness Resort. I miss Florida so much. I miss Florida so much. <gasps> New Orleans. Orleans is what it's called. And which I'm trying to think of what resort this is, but this is Orleans. I'm trying to think of what resort has the Orleans. I can only think of Old Key West. I don't know if that's what it is. French Orleans. I don't know. Who? <laughs> Yeah, this one, it's, it's, it, none of these smell bad. Like, the last time we got some, there was, like, one that was really, really strong, and I didn't like it. But none of these smell bad. But if I had to rank them, this would probably be my bottom one that we got. I obviously won't know, though, until, like, we use them, but I like this one a lot. This would probably be my second least favorite. This one would be my top, and this one would be my second. I like both of these. So, yes, thank you for coming to my kind of unboxing. I have written maybe like 200 words today. I'm losing steam, and very quickly, it seems. Uh, yeah, okay. There we go. I'm pantsing this novel now. I don't know if this would be considered a pants because I have the entire story plot outlined, but I'm basically at the point of pantsing this at chapter 11, and I'm almost done. I'm not going to hit 50,000 words this month. Why? Because I don't think I have 50,000 words of story. <laughs> you know, I was struggling to write. I've been struggling to write, and I think I just found out why. Because... 
baby Darren is back into the story and like the words they just roll in off the page um and Darren is just such a fun character to write he's like such an easy character to write even though that he has his own like tragic backstory of course he does uh <laughs> of course he does um and he's just so much of an easier character to write and I like him I like him and Naomi's uh, interactions so freaking much it just brings me so much joy thinking of their snarky comebacks and like their their mean and but still fun teases it just is a lot of fun for me and so I really enjoy when Darren's on screen now Next NaNoWriMo, I'm planning on writing the sequel to this book. So, when that comes, I don't think I will like Darren as much because I will be writing in his point of view. But, nonetheless, right now, I'm loving Darren and I'm so glad because he is going to be in Act 3 a lot. <laughs> like, all of Act 3, I'm pretty sure. So, I'm glad I like writing from his point of view. But, it's still the 11th, okay? I thought I had a new Chris Stapleton album today. I didn't get a new Chris Stapleton album today. I get it on 13th, it's like Friday, right? But... I finished this book today. I freaking loved it. Like, I can't even express how much I liked it. Like, 5 out of 5. I freaking love this book. My granny and I are buddy reading this, and I wasn't supposed to finish it until tomorrow, but I was like, she'll have to understand because it was like a four star book all the way until today's reading, like 220 and up. Like, I was like, it's four stars, and then at 220 and up, I was like, hold up. It's a 5 out of 5 now, baby, so I really am loving this series, and it's definitely, it's quickly becoming a favorite of mine. Um, and so, yes, I finished this, just went to you guys, loved it, um, and yeah, so, that's all I have to update for you guys today. I might see you tomorrow, I might not. Alright, here's the problem. There's kind of a lot of other problems, but I am writing chapter 12 and I've outlined okay I haven't outlined but I'm estimating that there's only going to be 15 chapters which means <laughs> I'm almost at the end of my book <laughs> and uh I'm only like at 17,000 words so I mean we're not surprised are we we're sad about it definitely but we're not surprised um so now I kind of gotta like figure out, <laughs> am I going to, uh, I gotta figure out how to structure this last half of the book, or I guess the last third, because we're basically in Act 3 now, um, because so much has to happen, um, and I don't really know how to structure it, I need to take a day off from writing just to plan out the entire end because as you guys may or may not know uh, if you watch this vlog then you definitely know I've only outlined a chapter 9 wasn't it yeah I only had chapter 9 outlined well I kinda of pants chapter 10 I most 100 percently pants chapter 11 and now I'm trying to figure out an outline for chapter 12 really quick and it's not working. So I need to take some time away from the uh, writing pressure. It's not really pressure, but you know what I mean. And I need to sit down and I need to finish my outline for this story. Uh, that would really be helpful. It would really be helpful. Um, yeah, I was like, I'm going to get the badges as I wrote for every single day for 30 days. But listen, guys, I don't have enough story to write every single day for 30 days. <laughs> so I'm kind of like in a crisis, okay? I don't know what to do. Um, well, I know what I need to do. Finish the book, right? And I can finish the book, and then I can mess with everything later. But I need to, I need to finish the outline for it. And I have... The entire, like, I, oh, I keep mentioning this, but I have the entire story structured because I did the Save the Cats, like, 15 plot point. So, I have that, if I can get to it. So, yeah, I have that all written down here. Uh, but I don't have chapter-by-chapter chapter outlines, and I really like those because I know what I'm doing. And even though most of the time 
I don't read over them. Like, I, like, for, like, the first, like, nine chapters, I knew what I was doing going into it, but I didn't, like, reread my outlining notes. So, I, if I ever, like, if I ever was doing something and I didn't know where to go after that, then I would check my notes. But, for example, I would, like, I knew how the book started, and I knew what I wanted to happen in the first book, uh, the first chapter. So then I did that, and I wrote that, but I didn't go back to the outline um, and things like that. And, like, when Natasha dies and stuff like that, I didn't go back to the outline because I knew it was going to happen. So... The outline by chapter by chapter is just kind of there to make sure I know what to do when I'm coasting through. Uh, and right now, I don't know what to do because I'm not coasting through. I'm stuck, okay? This is not a very good... <laughs> I'm trying to explain this and I'm not doing it very good, but it's just not working, okay? It's not working and I don't know what to do. <laughs> so that's my problem. That's where I currently am. Um, so yeah... <laughs> How is you guys' NaNoWriMo? I'm going to end this vlog here. I already know it's getting ridiculously long. Um, but I forgot tomorrow was Friday. So I got to edit these clips real quick. And uh, export it so I can upload it and schedule it to go out at 10 o'clock tomorrow. So, yes. But, like, if everything goes to plan, next week I should be finished with <laughs> my story. We ain't near the 15k point, the 500, the 50, 50, 50k point, but we almost done, so there we go. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog, I really hope you guys enjoyed, I'm sorry that is a little bit longer, I added stuff in here that wasn't just... Uh, writing related, but yeah, I still hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe down below because I post videos on my channel every single Monday and uh, for the month of November, I'm posting writing vlogs at least till I finish my story. I could do another, I could continue the writing vlogs until the end of November if you guys wanted, but you know what I mean. All right, I'm gonna go edit this and then procrastinate my writing until procrastinate my writing until then. All right, this is a five minute clip. I'm cutting it down, baby. I hope so. Bye bye. I am who I'm meant to be. I am who I'm meant to be. Over and out. Over and out. Again. My future needed clarity.